Hello everyone. I normally would post a process video today because it's Sunday, but I had the chance to um, go shopping <laughs> at a crafty store that's about an hour away from where I live. Um, we don't have any local independent stores here anymore really, um, so we have to drive at least an hour in one direction or the other to get a really good selection. So I didn't want to turn it down when the opportunity came up. So this is actually kind of a haul video. So the store that I went to is called Crafts Direct. It's in St. Cloud, Minnesota. And they have two areas of the store. Um, it's kind of in an L shape like this. The main store is over here. And then on this side, they have a clearance center. So that's all the stuff that maybe they have 10 or 12 sheets of a paper left and it hasn't sold. And it's definitely um, going to be older stock. Uh, they also have knitting stuff and stamping stuff. So it's not just for scrapbooking. Uh, and you never know what you're going to find in there. Sometimes they even have like holiday decor. So my friend and I decided to go in there first. So this is what I bought in there and I spent $9.66. I thought it was a little more than that with tax, but it was $9.66. So I bought these clearance tags from Chic Tags. I don't think they're in business anymore, or if they are, I haven't seen anything from them lately. But so I bought these for a dollar, one dollar. Let's see, put that over here. Uh, they had some Spellbinders dies, which I assume are um, older. This one. I loved how it sort of had these flourishes on it and um, I'm not Jewish but I went to a holiday celebration last year um, it's at the American Swedish Institute here in Minneapolis and they do each room in the mansion um, the Swedish In American Swedish Institute actually has a mansion as part of it because the family used to live there uh, so they take each room inside the mansion and they do a different um, country with it. And they didn't do this one exactly as a country, but they did a Jewish room this past year celebrating Hanukkah. And it was gorgeous. And I took tons and tons of photos that turned out really well. And I thought, oh, I can use this for that. So I bought it and my friend that went with me, um, same woman I was shopping with today, was also there. So we're going to share it. So five bucks only for that. Very, very cool. And then I found this paper, which is older. It's from Anna Griffin, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It has foiling on it. Lovely. And I don't know that I would use that as a background. It's pretty loud, um, but I love it. So I will figure it out. I'll find a way because it's just too gorgeous to pass up. And then this paper, um, it's two sided and I like the other side better, but it's um, kind of an Asian theme. It says Hollywood Vogue Foo on Film. And I thought this sort of had an Asian feel to it. Now I will use this side because this is what I like. Let's see here. Can we get the camera Hello. to focus? It doesn't want to focus. There we go. So it's a beautiful pattern. I love kind of the pale lavender. So that will go to good use. And then I saw this one. It's from So Pretty Craft and Crafted. Oh, Best Creation Ink. I don't even remember this line or this brand, but beautiful paper. So it's got glitter on it on the roses. Couldn't pass that up either. And then I think I actually had this in my stash at one point and used it. It looks very familiar. Uh, and I like it. It's a very subtle pattern. It's a very neutral color. And so I bought two more sheets of that. This is from Webster's Pages. And so by the way, each of these pieces of paper were a quarter in the clearance section. Um, I found this. Okay, so it says Lucko Pot of Gold, right? So this is supposed to be Irish, but I already know what I'm gonna use this for. I went to Universal Studios and I did all the Harry Potter stuff and Part of the fun of going is you get to go into Gringotts Bank and then they have an escape from Gringotts Ride. This is totally going into the Harry Potter Gringotts stuff. So yay that I found that. And then this is paper. I just like the design. That was cool. You know, I, I could see myself using that. So bought it. And then a quarter. Hello. And then this one I also like. It's actually a Christmas pattern. 
Brandy O'Neill from Webster's Pages. This is what's on the other side, which I can't see myself using. I'm not a Christmas person. It says, tis the season. I do dig this peacock, though. That's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm going to use this side for what? I have no idea, but I like it. So, you know, eventually. And then this one. It's a little busy. <sighs> okay, it's a lot busy. Um, and it has some glitter on it. But I have a membership to a local orchestra in my area. I have season tickets. So I'm there a lot. And so I know that I will also put this to use. So when I saw it, I thought, well, I wouldn't use it as two background pieces. That's too much. But if I cut it in half, you know, I can do something with that to offset some nice pictures of an evening at the orchestra. So that is my stuff that I got just in the clearance section. Now we will go on to the main store. So here is my bag from the main store, much bigger, <laughs> as you can see. So in the main store, this is somewhat misleading when I say the price here. Whoops, this way. So the merchandise, let's see here, uh, was actually what? Sixteen eighty-two taxes one ninety-eight, so total is eighteen eighty. However, I had a gift card, and I also had um, ten dollars worth of credit because they do this points thing. So every time you spend, you get points. So I had ten dollars in points waiting. So between that and my what I had left in my gift card, I actually spent about seven dollars. So that's that's pretty darn good for what I got. So I needed more glue dots, so I got this. Um, I believe these were $2.95 on sale. Their big anniversary sale is going on right now, so I figured I'm gonna stock up on another box. So I got those. Um, I'm not gonna count these all out, but I happen to know there are 33 pieces of cardstock here. Um, all of their basic cardstock, which some of this is basil, uh, was all three for a dollar. So I have 33 pieces of various cardstock here. Excited for that. Then I picked up um, some Doodlebug paper because everything Doodlebug was 30% off. You know, can't pass that up. And then here's another thing I want to use for Harry Potter. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work it in, but I love this idea of how a book becomes magical. So I want to talk on here maybe about, oh, before we went into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I was reflecting on how the books influence my life and the movies or something to that effect but I thought this paper would be perfect for that and then on my shopping list I had made notes about what I needed and green pattern paper was on the list because I was running low so I just grabbed some basic patterns these are one-sided um, these are from coordinations so same color just different pattern so I grabbed those uh, this is another doodle bug there and then gray pattern paper was also on my list. So some more doodle bug here. Just two sheets of that. Uh, and that this is on the other side. So I'll have choices if I want this part or this part. Or maybe both. We'll see. And then also all of their authentic paper was 30% off. So I grabbed this. And I actually like both sides here too. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Look at that cool cool pattern and then oh this is definitely the other side are you ready for this look at that there's the toontown area of universal where it's all like comic strip stuff and i just thought this would be so cool for that and so again i wouldn't use this as a background it's a little too distracting but i'll either cut this out or i'll just use like four inches or six inches or something across but i thought that was perfect so had to buy that too and then i was gonna say let's flip these over they had this pattern which i, I loved i had light blue paper on my list as well and so I thought this fit the bill, plus I just, I like the pattern. I kind of don't care for this side, but you know, that's all right. Um, this is from Chamel, little by little. So this is definitely a newer line, but I love this side. Even the branding strip is cute. I'll use that. And then Echo Park paper, also on sale at 30% off. So I bought this nice sort of sky blue with silver metallic dots and then a green with silver metallic dots. 
So, I mean, I really feel like I made a haul today and it was worth the drive and the fact that I had um, points waiting for me that I could use towards my purchase plus the rest of the gift card made it even more worthwhile. So I'm very happy with my purchases and I hope that you saw some fun stuff in here too. Thanks for watching.